Hi. So I'm going to try to explain uh, the research group that I'll be leading called Exploring Sports Data with R. So we're going to focus on the topic of streakiness in sports. And um, if you've watched any uh, sports event, you'll see that uh, athletes go through these periods where they're, they're hot and cold. And the media and fans also are fascinated with these uh, hot hand events. Uh, let me give you a couple of famous illustrations of uh, hot hand performances from baseball and basketball. Uh, in 1941, the Yankee player Joe DiMaggio uh, got, was able to get a base hit in 56 consecutive games, and that's considered to be one of the greatest baseball accomplishments that will never be equaled. Uh, closer to home, we have uh, in 2011, BGSU had a, a really great basketball player, Lauren Prohaska, and uh, she was a wonderful shooter, and she set a NCAA record by making 70 consecutive free throws, which is remarkable. I'm not sure that's still a record, but it was quite an accomplishment. So anyway, and also there was a famous movie called Moneyball. It was a book, originally a book and then a movie featuring Brad Pitt, and it was about using statistics in baseball. And one of the focal points in that movie was that the Oakland Athletics uh, won 20 consecutive games in 2002 season. And there's a friend of mine, Alan Reifman, who uh, is also fascinated with hot hand performances and he has a site called the Hot Hand in Sports where he documents a lot of things that happen in sports with respect to streakiness. Okay, so um, here are some questions that we'll explore in our research group. Um, what are some interesting patterns of streakiness in sports? Uh, I'm particularly interested in how these streaky performances compare to streaky patterns that you also see in coin tossing or other types of random behavior. And I like to distinguish between um, streaky performances that we see all the time and whether that's significant. It really means that players are, I say, truly streaky. And we'll try to uh, make a distinction between those between streaky performances and streaky ability. We'll be using a open source uh, software called R. And this is uh, relatively easy to learn, uh, and I'm not assuming any experience in programming. And one thing that R is especially good at is creating interesting graphs. So here's a simple example. I'm actually simulating uh, coin tosses, and I'm looking at patterns of streakiness in coin flipping. And people, students, are usually uh, surprised at the kind of streaky patterns that you see when you flip a coin. So there are different ways of measuring streakiness. We can look at the longest run of successes. We can look at the longest run of failures. One thing that baseball does is it looks at the gaps between consecutive successes. So for example, a player who's struggling will be said to be in an 0 for 20 uh, hitless streak, and that's sort of notable. I wrote a book with Jay Bennett called Curveball called Baseball Statistics and the Role of Chance in the Game. And we'll be reading a chapter from this uh, book that's focused on that hand. And also we'll very gently get introduced to R and look at some interesting uh, baseball data sets. And then we'll probably uh, move on to other sports. And one thing we can do is to go together to a BGSU women's basketball game in the fall or the spring. And we look for, we'll look for some interesting... Um, momentum swings during the game. So uh, any questions, I'm sorry I'm not here in person to answer them, but you're certainly welcome to ask questions by email me. I'll try to respond quickly. And thanks for reading and listening, and I look forward to working with some of you when the fall semester starts.